Stone unturned. Out of the way. Be 
Leave it all to me. than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Treasure!
we go! <sighs> it's a miracle! your fate. Yeah. 
written in the stars. Witness the power of the one. Take flight. Let's dance. I will end you. Body and mind. Body and the grin cutter. You only just be doing this isn't good. Sakura swirl! Looks like I went too far. Come on, we can do it. Not good. Time to act. Decided by destiny. You need to hurry up. My apologies. Over here! Yeah. Let me amuse you. Look! Leave it so soon. You really know how to get me going. Let's move. Yeah. Should I get you? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Whirling snow! Written in the stars! Kamisato art! Sumenzu! My apologies! Let the show begin! your fate. Time to act. I am outplayed. Decided by destiny. Take flight.
Behold the abyss. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
joy. We've only just begun. I'm a rock. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Benny's adventure team, assemble!
Adventure time! Just plain stupid! Off we go! Free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Leo A volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Monster volume was so interesting. Bummer. The thing is. The author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an... The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse Village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, 
and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to- My pleasure, fellow book lover! Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Leo at volume of the Tevat Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! I've had my heart set on getting hold of a copy of Legend of the Shattered Halberd, Volume 6, for the longest time now. Frankly, I'd be willing to do whatever it takes to get my hands on that book. If this book can be found, it will be nothing far away. So, are you buying or not? I don't see that coming. Adventure time! Adventure time! It always rains when I go on an adventure. Better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leoe volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every lap wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. 
It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go! Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey! Where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here! I swear I'll reclaim my lost fortune. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me.
Benny's adventure team, assemble! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Or not. Break the curse. Like reading, huh, Mr. Five Second Hero? Ho oh, ho, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello? Xingqiu? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> How can they bully poor old Cheng the Ninth like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple! Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I meant every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. Would you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? There's a saying that goes, the insect that... Uh, quit quoting... Please leave this place. I... 
It's cute that you, but you picked the wrong time. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen make. Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn. That was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision! You won this round, but you better watch your back! This isn't over! Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute, but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here, he mentioned Gentry Maltai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, so that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh, this guy is so annoying! Pine on... <laughs> Fine, from now on... Adventure time! Thank you. 
we go! Please be mindful of your personal safety. Who goes there? How strange. You're not on the guest list. The Master's dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My Master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. <laughs> but anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinue kiosk. Seems business is booming at the Shinue kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Please be mindful of your personal safety. Let's go find some treasure! Uh, how, what if Master finds out? Uh, ow! Where did that come from? This is a peaceful neighborhood. Adventure time! Off we go! Finally, a seat with a view. Adventure time! <laughs> you do tell the cleverest jokes. I understand. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. 
I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man, Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatu. Who knows if Goo... Adventure time! guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you- The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege, for reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes- Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Paimon can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, hence why I said there's no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big big commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately gentry Mount Tsai must be t also. I do not- Why not? You're only d To silently disappear at each droplet of kindness I- That sounds very l Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you. Hey! <laughs> Letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking- Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving- Of course. We tr- Please, this way.
and Paimon thought we'd get kicked out. Paimon didn't think Goop... Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Maltzai had, for him to correct the error of his... Since Gentry Maltzai's business has to do... Deprived of the necessary... Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things... But... Lewis... With the time scale we are... First, there are... There is also some unsold core... Finally, there is... Alrighty. So three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the Ninth. Roger that! Of course. We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow! So many Mora! With cash like this, pa <laughs> Well, all you need to do is strike a deal. Once you have purchased all the core- Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least... Good day, my friend. Oh, I thought... No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to... Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. What? Uh, no... Uh, all right, I'll do it. Just clearly no shortage of cash flow. It would be far more fa if it's for the.
two items in. The key here is consumer psychology. Thank you so very much, lady. New stock at Sigo Antiques? Bad news for my friends. Hi! <laughs> You want... Well, that's sad. None are in writing. Oh, it's... Oh! Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about my... Thank you for your pay...